Hello everyone, my name's Hannah and I'm from ProCandlesupply.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make soy wax tarts. These wax tarts are a great addition to your candle line, especially for your friends or customers who don't burn candles. They're fast and easy to make at a very low cost. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, I'm going to show you everything you'll need to make these. You'll need wax tart clamshells. We carry these in two sizes on ProCandlesupply.com. They come in small and large. Next, you'll need your soy wax. Today, we're going to be using 464 soy wax. You'll also need a fragrance oil. We're going to be using Egyptian amber. We're going to be using liquid candle dye, which is completely optional. You'll need a thermometer, at least one pour pitcher, a stirring utensil, a kitchen scale, and a double boiler or a heat plate to melt your wax. Today I'm going to be making three different colored tarts, light purple, dark purple, and pink. The first step is to weigh out your wax on your kitchen scale. I'll be using a half pound of wax per color. Then you're going to place your thermometer inside your pitcher and place on your hot plate or your double boiler. Now you need to melt your wax to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important to reach 185 degrees Fahrenheit because this is the temperature that the fragrance oil correctly binds with the wax. You can melt your wax on a hot plate and stir continuously with your thermometer in it until it reaches 185 degrees. Or you can do the same thing with your pitcher inside of a double boiler. So now that you're done melting your wax, remove it from its heat source, and now you're ready to add your fragrance oil. You can see here I have three pitchers in front of me. Each has a half pound of melted wax and 185 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to add the maximum amount of fragrance oil to my soy tarts, which is about 9%, so that they smell very strong. You can use less if you want to, but today we're going to be using 9%. So if we want to use 9%, that means you take the number of ounces of wax that you're using by weight and multiply 0.09, and this will tell you how much fragrance oil you'll need. Since we're using a half pound of wax, which is eight ounces by weight, you take eight ounces times 0.09 to get 0.72 ounces of fragrances by weight. So I'm going to add my fragrance oil now. So now that we've added and thoroughly mixed in our fragrance oil, we're going to move on to the liquid dyes. Coloring your soy wax is completely optional and a personal preference. However, please note if you do choose to color your tarts, you should always add your fragrance oil before your dye because some fragrance oil can slightly change the color of your colors. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be making three different color tarts, light purple, dark purple, and pink. With all our liquid candle dyes on ProCandlesupply.com, you can use the same color to make different shades by adding more or less of the dye. I'll demonstrate that with the purple dye. After you add your dye, it will appear much darker in the hot melted wax than the actual color of the finished tart. So a good trick that I wanna show you is once you think you've reached your desired color, drip a couple drips on a white piece of paper. This will quickly dry so you can see a more true color. If you think it needs to be darker, you can add more dye. Now I'm going to pour my tarts. I'll be back once they're cool. We're back and the tarts are cool and they look so nice. You can see the color shade difference between the light and the dark purple, just with a different number of drops. 
the light purple and the dark purple. The light purple will use three drops and the dark purple will use eight drops. Also, you'll see this super cool pink that turned out really nice as well. You can see that also the paper that we use to test the color of the hot wax matches pretty darn accurately to the colors of the cool wax tarts. So I hope that you try this trick because it really works well. And that's it. You can get everything you need to make these tarts on my website at ProCandlesupply.com. I'm excited to see what you guys make. You should subscribe below for more tips and tutorials on candle and soap making. See you later, alligator.